Hi everyone, I'm about to go to the post office in a few minutes, but I have a couple of things that I'm super excited to show you what they look like. The first one is this super cute, adorable mini soda bottle. Looks like that, and I made green ones before, and this one's a purple one, and it's all made with Stylecraft Special Decay yarn, and it's really pretty purple. I think that's actually Sheep Jeezy's, Sheep Jeezy's yarn, but it's coming out like kind of a different shade of purple than what it looks like in person for some reason. And then this, the other shade of purple right here is the Style Car Special DK, and the white yarn is in that, as well as the silver yarn on the straw. Because I wanted it purple with a silver straw, and it came out super cute, adorable. It's coming out much darker on the camera. It's more bright and vibrant in person. I don't know why it's coming out this weird, almost blue, co blue color on, on the camera, but it's usually purple. On purple, that match, not just so dark. But anyways, this is what it looks like. I love the face. It's made with 6mm black safety eyes, rainbow floss, and um, paint box. This blush pink yarn for the cheeks. And this safety eyes are from AliExpress. I really love making these soda bottles. They're super cute, adorable, easy to make. Make the soda bottle, then you make the little plug thing so no stuffing comes out. Put it in, sew it. And then you add straw and it comes out so adorable. It came out a little bigger than my normal ones. Usually they come out a little smaller. And it was so fun. Next thing that I'm sending off is... So I sometimes get cartoony and video game things and this one is from a video game it is called Hollow Knight and this is the main character is this little mini um, character that looks like this it has like horns and he has a cape that he wraps around himself so you can't really see his arms he has a little sword that sticks up and like so he looks just like this he has black eyes that um, look almost like sunglasses <laughs> but um it's super fun the customer liked it and they wanted a, the smaller version not the bigger version of it because it had two sizes in the pattern I'll link both these patterns that I showed you down below and this is made with um, Stylecraft Special DK and black and paint packs are in this gray color and the white is also Stylecraft Special DK and this and the black and it was super fun I love making the horns I love making the head I like making the body it was and the cape was the funnest part because it almost looks like a shawl so cute adorable and the eyes I love it even though I'm not big on hand sewn eyes usually but in this case I really like it it looks like sunglasses and cute and looks just like the character I really want to play the video game even though my hubby says it looks really hard on how to beat some of the characters and I didn't realize that until I was watching Twitch and I saw some people playing it and some YouTube videos as well as Twitch videos and I was like oh well I guess it is a little hard and uh, I'm excited I was super super excited to um, make this little guy because one of my favorite Twitch people to watch actually plays the game she does and I love watching when she plays and her excitement about it and she actually made one of these and, my, and the other Twitch channel that I recently joined is actually the designer for it. So cool. And she has a blog and everything, and it's really nice to check out. She has a couple patterns on there that are free, but she also sells patterns, and she's a really good designer. Very easy to follow directions, and she had two sizes. It was great. I really love it. And this is another easy to follow pattern. forgot to mention that. It's on one of my first Amy Groomy sites that I went on to make things and it's so easy to make her pattern. She sells them and she has free ones on her site. Alright, I'll talk to you on the podcast. Hi everyone, I am back to show you a couple more stuffed toys that I'm going to be bringing to the yarn shop that had the shark contest that I talked about in another video. Well, if you didn't watch that video, it is the yarn show called Yarning For You. I'll put a link down below. For the month of August, they until August 31st, they have a contest for if you crochet or knit a shark, you can end up um, 
turning it in and winning a cool prize. So I wanted to try to win the cool prize and also I wanted to just uh, crochet a shark. So I thought it would be perfect. And I ended up crocheting two sharks and at the end of the contest I'm just going to donate it to the children's fund that they are, I mean children's group that they're going to donate them to. And this is the Chum and the Shark pattern and the pattern's linked down below. We'll talk more about it in the podcast. But this is how he looks. He was made with the yarn from the yarn shop because that was part of the rules of the contest and it worked out beautifully. And it was the yarn that I actually bought on the yarn venture and it came out super cute. And this tweedy yarn, I ended up using even yarn on the gills and the mouth and black and a white apelka yarn belly, super soft, fluffy, came out so cute. I love his eyes, his face, his fins, his tail, I love it all. So cute. Then I made a little tiny, this would be the baby shark. He had, actually he has <clears throat> 9 millimeter eyes. And the baby shark has 6 millimeter eyes. And it's made in the same yarn. It has the white belly. I actually ended up making one of these for, he'd be my nephew by marriage, but um, hubby's brother's kid, his son is like a couple years younger than my son, and they play together and they're super cute, and we saw them around December, and I made him one that's similar, but had different fin, and had different fins in the front, and it was a little smaller, I think, and different yarn. I just love this little shargi, so cute, adorable, his cute little eyes and face and fin, and I just really like him. Can't wait to show you the rest of the things and talk more about this podcast. Um, I will talk to you soon. Bye-bye. Hi, everyone. I am Heather from Paint of Real Fiber Arts, and this is the podcast. I hope you have all had a really good, wonderful last few days since we have chatted and everything. I am going to show you some yarny things that I made and then some yarny things that I ended up buying. And I'm super excited to show you all of them and then talk about what's going on with me lately. So this is some of the things that you saw in the beginning. I'm going to talk about it a little bit. All right. So in the beginning, you saw that I made a Hollow Knight sub toy that was that black toy with the horn thingies on top, video game character from the Hollow Knight video game. He's this little mini thing that goes through the video game levels and you get to jump around and he's really cute and his cape goes blah 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 and it looks like he's wearing a shawl when he's in the standing position. He actually has a little sword back there that wasn't in the toy that I made but um, it has a little sword and he takes it out and goes and chops things. It's really cute and adorable. Like I was saying, one of my favorite um, Twitch YouTube, not YouTube, uh, Twitch um, video people that I watch. Um, she plays the Hollow Knight video game as well as she crochets, and she actually made a miniature one that looks similar. And it was super cute and adorable. Um, the girl that designed the pattern, she's like super cool. She plays video games and she a lot of racing games, and she also designs crochet stuff. I'll put a link to her down below, like I said. And um, yeah, the pattern was super easy, super fun to make. Looks like he's wearing sunglasses for his eyes. I usually love um, to not make crocheted eyes because I just think they look weird on a lot of things. But I think that he actually looks super cute with it. Like, um, it fit him and it looked just like how he looks in the game. He has black eyes. He doesn't really have safety uh, safety shaped eyes. He has just round black eyes so it's super cute and I just loved making him I the game looks a little hard on some of the like like bad guys that you gotta get I guess you would say boss levels but um for the most part it looks really fun my hubby says that oh it has a lot of jumping and some of the bosses are kind of hard so it might be hard for you and, and even hard for himself and I'm like oh great he's like video game master so I'm like oh good and then I, and I was talking to my customer that wanted it for the custom order and he's like 
I had at least just to play it. I played it and I love it and all this stuff. And I know a lot of people have played it but not made it to the end because it's such a hard game. But as the bosses get bigger and better and sometimes you have to know little shortcuts I guess and stuff because I noticed that the Twitch person I was watching kept getting stuck. So, but yeah, she's really, really good at it. And um, yeah, you got, I'll put her Twitch channel actually down below if you want to know what Twitch is about. It's pretty much a lot like here YouTube, but it's live streams. You can either have live streams of video games or you can have live streams of um, arts and craft things or crochet things. It's actually really fun. It's like you're hanging out, making the toy together at the same exact time. It doesn't even have to be the same toy as that person is making that you make. It doesn't even have to be a toy. It could be a blanket. Some of them make these gigantic blankets. Like I was watching this one with wood and she had the hammer and she was doing it. I don't even do wood art and it was beautiful to watch. And she had all this like beautiful, beautiful art. Oh, it was amazing to watch. Oh, yeah. I can't, I'll be having my own Twitch channel soon. And, I'll be making a special video about it. Um, I just have to finish setting it up. The, my hubby's slowly been making the art for me and his free time and it's looking beautiful. And then on top of that, I learned how to work the broadcaster, which was a little complicated, but I have all the equipment and I've been cleaning this craft room that I'm in. It's a big mess. Yeah, but it's not as messy as it used to be, but it's pretty messy. But we want to get a desk in here, so make it functional. And now that I know there's no mold growing in here, that's another subject I'll talk about then. Um, yeah, so I'm excited to be putting my desk together. But anyways, um, so yeah, that was one of the things I that I made. I also made the cute little soda bottle in the beginning. Oh, it's, it was so fun to make and so cute and adorable. It's one of my favorite patterns, and it was made... It's actually a paid for pattern for the soda bottle one, but she also has free patterns and I'll link her down below. She was one of the first um, pages I went to when I was first learning Amigurumi. And she's just great. She has the best patterns out there. If you understand how to read patterns, she is very, very A plus with that. And she is excellent at describing the stitches and everything. And if you have any, need any help, obviously you go to like YouTube, <laughs> like I did, or like, look it up further on the internet is what I do <laughs> or through a book if you have a book next to you but the books were really confusing because I'm left-handed so it's really really confusing to me to how to learn crochet so that's why I turned to YouTube and oh, it was beautiful after that but anyways she was one of the reasons that I even make it because she inspired me so much to make them after making a few cute little fruity things from her and food and she actually is in it's like amigurumi food or something and she makes a lot of food things and she, it's very beautiful stuff she makes a couple other things but it's all food related it's awesome and then i ended up delivering my sharkies to the yarn shop and i got more yarn that i'll show at the end and oh it, it the ladies down there were so kind they love my sharkies and i want to make the dolphin version of the big shark it's chum the shark and the pattern is down below it's actually a pay for pattern it's worth the all the money that I paid for it was only like three four bucks <laughs> or something no three dollars I think and so it's and then I got the dolphin one so it ended up being like six bucks but it was worth it and the dolphin is just like him but has a dolphin nose and little different tail and fins oh so cute I love it I oh, oh, oh. and I bought the perfect yarn now to make the dolphin with so <laughs> I'm excited and I let me get a little tiny shark it's just like this one, but didn't have hand painted eyes. This one has the hand painted eyes. Uh, made the fin and the arms. Pretty much took my little wheel pattern, made it a little different. I made the own, my own version of the tail, the fins, and the little fin up top. And then, like I said, I made my little nephew one. And well, the husband's nephew, I guess he's like a nephew because we're married now. And he's a few years younger than my son, and he just loved it for Christmas. It was his Christmas present. He loved it, and uh, of last year. And I just and he kept like moving around, and they were singing the Sharky song. <laughs> it was funny. They like baby shark, nee, 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 nee. yeah. But anyways, and then I I was going to the as I made these, I was going dun 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 dun. dun. <laughs> it was just really funny. But yeah, I'm happy because August was Shark Month, you know, and. In the beginning of this month, we ended up visiting my cousin, um, and my cousins, and they ended up, um, she was like, yeah, it's actually Shark Week, because she knows all about, because she is, um, she's a, she is a 
she's a doctor, but she's a doctor of bugs and stuff, and she knows all about biology stuff because she's like the chairman of her of the college she teaches at. And anyway, she like knew all about like all of that, and they have a shark unit at her school that she teaches at college. This is, and they had all these little sharkies, and they had baby sharks. Oh, they're so cute. They had stingrays. Did you know stingrays have eyelids that? open and shut so that way they don't get stuff stuck in their eyes they are very cute as babies not as scary as adults <laughs> as they are as adults i meant to say the babies are cute we watched a video about sharks about and stuff that ended up being like a documentary that ends up that's probably now currently on tv or it's going to be where these hawaiian couple that take photographs of sharks and other underwater life and they got up close and personal with some sharks because someone Somehow, not someone, somehow a dead whale ended up in Hawaii and then they had to like cart it out to sea and then all the sharks were feasting on it and then these giant, giant sharks appeared that they'd never seen in Hawaii before, but they did always exist in other places like more Mexico area, but, um, and they were, they're not exactly like well known in Hawaii, I guess, I guess they always lived there but, and they seen stuff, but anyways, they ended up um, taking some up close and personal pictures of it and it was beautiful to see. But I just wish that we knew that the video was going to be almost take all of our time away from seeing other things that were shark related there. And then my son was tired and wanted to go home after all that. But anyways, we ended up going out to eat and having a good time and stuff. And I talked a little in the video, but I didn't really talk much about the shark stuff. But yeah, anyway, so this baby sharky reminds me of the little sharkies at that event. It is super cute. It was made with the... Uh, the yarn that I got at the yarn yarning you shop and I uh, even used the black yarn from the, their shop and this white apalco yarn it's super soft um, these are in pirate gold hand painted eyes from glass eyes all of this is finger weight sock yarn it is so soft and beautiful I really like the tweedy black thingies that are in it that it's like yarn pieces I love it. I love this yarn so much. It's so great. came out way better than I thought for Amy Garimis too. And I'm excited to make more. I want to make a whaley friend, an octopus friend, and some other things with it. Super cute. Um, I ended up making this, this thing, which is a stop sign cone that could be turned into a keychain or just decor, or even as a child's play thing. It was made with Stylecraft special, uh, no, um, paint box yarn. So, Sylvia orange and white, paper white, uh, in their, um, acrylic yarn. So cool. It, you make, like, a square bottom, then you make this part, which is the cone part, and then you just sew it onto the bottom. Even make a little flat thing so it's a little flatter, not pointy, and actually realistically looks like one. It's so cute. I love the all of it and how easy it was to make. I used six millimeter black safety eyes, just like I used six millimeter black safety eyes on this. And I used regular Pelka yarn for the lips to make it white. But on this one, I used um, six millimeter black safety eyes that weren't hand painted. They were just the regular ones that I get from uh, either Glass Eye 60 Eyes or AliExpress, but AliExpress, uh, that site doesn't exist anymore that I bought from, so <laughs> I find a new one. But um, the other two exist, so that's where they're linked down below. If you need safety eyes, and eventually I'm gonna have safety eyes in my shop in like a few weeks. Actually, in the very, very new, a lot sooner than a few weeks. And so, if you're into wanting some smaller packs of safety eyes, I have them for sale. If you want them sooner, I sent you me. And I'll and if you want like, you know, five or 10 safety eyes, I'll have them priced in my Etsy shop, but um, the, for the people that just want like five or 10 eyes, cause I find that's so hard to find for a reasonable price. Everybody wants like $10 for two safety eyes. I'm like, that's expensive for six millimeter safety eyes, $2. And say if I don't like safety eyes, how I felt. And then I bought a hundred bag my first time ever. And I didn't like the backs. So these are the ones that are very nice bags that you can either light without a lighter and melt them if you don't feel safe that they're going to stay on, but they stay on with or without a lighter because I've never had a problem with one and I've made a lot of toys. But anyways, um, six millimeter black safety eyes 
with Hanover Phosphorus Black and Pink for the mouth and cheeks. And it was just so fun and simple to make. I got this pattern from, I'm sorry, that's the face, not blown out. But anyways, um, I got this pattern for this little guy and a lot of others from 100 Days of Crochet. I bought both her book ebooks. They're actually ebooks. I'll link them down below. I started making them, and this is the first one that I finished. And I've made it, started making some others, but that will be finished soon. So you'll be hearing me talk about it. It is an amazing book. You can either choose to make one a day, like she did, and it equals out to 100 days. This literally will take. It took me if I really sat there and did it less than an hour. So you could do a bunch of these if you want a day. I could probably do two or three an hour, <laughs> you know, <laughs> but, um, but yeah, but anyways, they're super nice e-hook. I use size e-hook, furls hook, which is the next size up, not this one's the d-hook, and I used e-hook for this too, and for the other shark, and for the soda bottle, so that's why soda bottle came up bigger than normal, but it's perfect, because if you use the e-hook or higher, your toy is actually reasonable size, hand size. It's not, but if you want a super miniature, you can use like a D or a B hook and, or even a C hook and you'll be fine. And then you just get a toy that big. So it, if you use thin, thin yarn, or if you use thicker yarn, you know, you get a bigger toy. So it's great because you could have that versatile size of toys if you want. You can have small, medium, large, or whatever. And it's so easy to read the pattern. They're so quick, so simple. And I just like the idea that you could have 100 days of Amy Gurumis if you want. And you could do one a day. Like, how easy is that? And then you could just move on with your day and do another project. You don't have to stay with the Amy Gurumi for the whole day like some of these bigger Amy Gurumis are. And I just really like it. It's very easy sewing. Some of them don't even require any sewing besides a little tiny bit because you have to put the stuffing in there and stuff. Like, this required the bare minimum. You just stuff it and then you put the bottom on. And it's just so easy to do that when it is like oh it was so simple and easy i put the little edge on here like i ended up with whip, whip stitching i'm um, not whip stitching um crab stitching the edge so that way it's more round because i just like that on squares but if you just want to just slip stitch or no stitch or just leave it as is it looks great too and i just really loved how simple these patterns were the book's great you'll hear me talking more about it as i go through the book and oh it's a plus and whether you get the, the book that i got this one out or the other one they're awesome there is so many different ones like you name it she made like a hair dryer okay it was awesome i, I thought i was the only person that looked at a hair dryer and thought hey that'd be great to turn into a groovy nail polish okay i thought that would be cool too and She's come up with some stuff that I never thought of either. So I just think it's amazing. She's a great designer. She has very clear directions and I just really love all of her, all of her patterns. She's great. Um, and let me get this ladybug. Yes, there's one in the 100 Days of Crochet, but this isn't the ladybug from 100 Days of Crochet. This is the ladybug that I ended up making that is actually from a different pattern that I'll link down below. I ended up making this and then I just added the spots from the pattern that they said were exercise. I made the little black part down the middle a little bigger and I gave it super big cute eyes, 9mm eyes, black safety eyes, super cute. It's in the color DK, I mean Style Car Special DK in this like red color. Um, I think it's either lipstick or Matterhorn or something. I don't know. I don't remember the name. And then the black one is Dial Car Special DK. And then just basic embroidery floss. And oh, it was oh for the mouth. I meant to say in cheeks that are in white and pink. And it was just so fun, easy to make. I love, love, love ladybugs. When I was at that event that I was telling you about with my cousin thing. Um, I actually learned a cool fact about ladybugs. I learned that ladybugs' wings are, that have the spots on it and stuff, are wings. I didn't know that. And that underneath is just black. I thought, <laughs> I didn't know these were actually wings. 
on them. That's so neat. They actually had a little thing about that on there. It was so cool. I just thought they were just part of the shell or something, you know, and that the wings were probably see-through. But no, now I know why when they lift up their wings, they just look black under there. And we actually have a ladybug issue, I think, that aphids, I think, are eating some one of our plants in our back, and they've been eating the aphids. But my cat almost ate one the other day, and then she almost, and then I think she threw up after, because I guess they put off a toxin that makes them not taste good to other other bugs and creatures. And it probably was the same issue with the cats. <laughs> and my cat ended up getting sick because of it. So, or she tried to do it after she did that. I don't know, but it accidentally died. I felt so bad because I love ladybugs and they're so cute and adorable. I, okay, so that's it for my ready-made things. I'm gonna be talking about some things that I got. I ended up getting some more yarn at the yarn yarn new shop when I dropped off my shark. The ladies were super kind, super nice. They were talking about how much they liked my shark and how cute it was and all this stuff. And they asked if it was knit or crochet. I said crocheted and they said that they never knitted one before. So, but, and then one of them said, oh, that's because like usually it's, it's more common in crochet because I guess I was there when there was more knitters than crocheters because they were doing their little, um, crocheting knit during the day thing today which they do on Wednesdays and then they have one on Mondays I heard that there's um other people and I and I met like a couple crocheters at the at the thing that I at the event that I went to the rowing event but I didn't know if they had any more people like that because a lot of them mostly knit because that's just so fun to do and I really thought that it was cool to, um, that they were all, sorry, I didn't want you to see how much I spent, but yeah, I just thought it was really cool that they were all getting together and knitting and they were excited about my sharkies and giving me ideas of what to do with stuff toys because they asked if I ever done certain things and this and that and it was just fun yarny chat and it was just great, wonderful. I plan on going to yarn crawl with them, which I will explain at the this in um well I plan on visiting their shop during yarn crawl but I'm gonna visit a lot of other places to that I'll explain that and how we, if you are interested in going into San Diego yarn crawl and you know what it is before I explain it or anything and you would like to meet up with me or anything that's a great opportunity that we can get together and go yarn shopping together and visit some alpacas. Oh, it's going to be fun. I'll, I'll explain more after this, but um, yeah, if you're interested, let me know, please. Like, leave me a comment or an email or whatnot. Get a hold of me anyway. And you, if you live out here and you want to go with me, that would be so cool because I would really love to have a yarn adventure with somebody. It um, looks like it's going to be just me because my son's at school and my hubby's at work and then over the weekend usually we're doing other stuff and it would bore them to death seriously but it wouldn't us yarny people that love yarn oh, no. they'll be fun but anyways um i ended up getting some yarn i ended up getting um you uh ewe love ewe love ew it was so sporty washable I got two things of yarn from this. I ended up, this one is the You're So Sporty 70, it's called. It is um, 145 yards, 132 meters, 50 grams, 1.75 ounces. It is this very beautiful 100% um, um, merino superwash wool. It is more like fingering sock-ish yarn than sport in my book, but um, and at least from what I'm seeing, but as I was using it, I noticed it thickened up a little. It has so much boink. It would make very nice anything you want, but I'm gonna make some injuries with it. I'm not sure what yet. Like I was telling the leaves, maybe see the animals, because I think this would look great for the dolphin. 
super cute. It's like this tealy color, blue teal. Oh, it's so pretty, pretty, pretty. Um, she's gonna be at the yarn crawl. This, the owner of this that has the yarn, I guess she, like, the, I don't know if she's the dyer or the maker or what behind it, but she's the one that's in charge of it. The owner of this company is gonna be there. And it's gonna be cool because she, I heard is super nice. And her name is Heather. It's so cool. I'm not sure what day she's gonna be there because I forgot because they have a little bit of a schedule printed out, but they don't. I'll put a link to that, to the San Diego yarn crawl down below so you can see the schedule of what's going on with it. Um, and then I ended up getting this um, 90, the ooey, so sporty, the ooh, so sporty, not ooey. Ooh, so sporty, so pretty, not ooey. Um, 98 charcoal, and it is the same specs as this one. It's this dark gray, it looks pretty together. Ooh, maybe another sharky. So cool. And then I ended up getting, on my way out I decided, well I saw this, but then on the way out I just, just had to get it. Oh, it's so pretty, it's so soft. This is like purple and blue and gray and black. So nice. I love it. And it has a cute little kitty little girl. I don't know if the camera will show that. It's um, SCH Appeal. It's SCH Appeal Boots is what it says. It's Boots C O L 2077. Of course, they just have numbers. It is a super wash. Wool and March cotton blend. Ooh, that's why I liked it so much. And it's super pretty. Oh, it's, it's fingering weight, um, sock weight yarn. It is <laughs> has some cute little things on the tag. Try to get the specs on it for ya. It is 45% cotton, 14% nylon, and 14% polyvid, 44% wool, wool of some sort. So it's 44 Wool so super wash. Sorry, it's in a weird language. And 42% more wool, it looks like. And then 40% poly made. And the 42% cotton. And 40% nylon is what it says. I don't know. It says a bunch of different things on it. Nylon cotton wool blend. So, so cool. And it feels beautiful in the color. Oh, I just really love the color. It has speckles. Oh. And it keeps wanting to fall apart, of course. There was another skein there that, as I was touching it, the same color was falling apart. And another time, I almost bought it the first time I was there. And the same thing happened. I guess it just doesn't want to stay together. But that's okay, because it's going to get used. But it's very beautiful. Ooh, it smells nice. Ooh. Hand dyed purpley, gray speckled and black and blue yarn. Oh, I can't wait to play with it. It's gonna make something really pretty. Maybe I'll use it for my shawl that I want. Cause cotton yarn, cotton wool blend would be better out here in California. Wait, wait. So I love this speckly, black speckled yarn that I got. That was great. I had to get a pink one, cause pink's my favorite color. So, ooh, I love it. Well, one of my favorite colors, cause my actual favorite is rainbow, but. And is uh, it is daddy? It's this is the color, daddy, Pet petunia. Cause I really love the names of colors. And it is in A N Z U L A, Anzula luxury fibers. Daddy is the not actually not the name. It's actually petunia is the name, but it's daddy fingering sock. It's hand dyed in Fresno, California. So it's a local dyer and company. It's 80% superwash 
merino, 7%, 17% acrylic, and 3% polyester. It is in color a petunia, like I just said. The yardage is 40, 120 yards, so you got 84 meters. And hand wash to extend the life of your project. Lay flat to dry. Okay. And it is Anzula. Just the, the way they do their A on the label is just weird if you can see that. And it is a very pretty pink. Oh, it's so pretty, pretty, pretty. Oh, it looks so pretty together. And then with these, like, the ladies are like, oh, such pretty colors she selected today. Ah, so cool. They were so kind. I love them. I love talking to them, that is. But yeah, I can't wait to play with that pink speckly, black speckle yarn, because uh, that gray yarn is so fun to play with. It's so soft. I'm in love with it. This is, um, this reminds me of my favorite kind of sock ish. Like, it's kind of more roundy ish <laughs> kind of sock here. This, like, this one is a little different feel, but the feel to it is really cool. It's like a super wash feel. It's really cool. And it is from Forbidden Willery the name of the place and it is in gluttony sock and it is called imaginous cotton beer it's good i can't even say it um because okay so it's i n g e m i o u s space c o n s p i r a c Sorry, I'm really bad at the names and company names and all that. And it's for, um, and their gluttony sock. And like I said, the company is Forbidden Woolery, which is gorgeous yarn. So pretty. Um, gluttony sock, superwash merino, 80%, nylon, 20%, 435 yards, 4 ounces, 115 grams, 7 to 8 uh da, 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 da. sorry i was reading stitches which depends on gauge um it's a machine wash cold tumble dry low and it's ingenious conspiracy is the name wow it didn't look like it in there yeah <laughs> anyways um it is in this like aqua y tealy well, not really teal, aqua color blue, with a dark blue, and some more blue, blue, blue. A lot of different shades of blue. So pretty, 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 pretty. I love it. Oh, it's so pretty. Can't wait to play with it. It is a very nice sock yarn. It's multicolored blue, which I really like. Sorry about that, I'm just really thirsty. Next year I got, I was looking for this particular one. It was I, I didn't ask if she had it because I ended up liking this one, which is very similar, but it's called Tory Pines. And we actually have a place named Tory Pines out here in San Diego that we love going to, and I will have a little video about it. It's a beautiful beach. And she had all these names of different places in San Diego. So I think they're out, she's like out here in California, this place, this uh, dyer is Elevate every skein supports a national forest but it's called elevate it's the name of the dyer and it's hand dyed in california national forest it says elevate fibers is the name of the place that dyed it the dyer company and then it's the cut in the color shipwreck and it's in her deluxe socks i really liked all the names because they're all names of different places out here in california it was beautiful and they're all very different. Like she had purples, and she had like a pink gray, she had blue, she had this kind, uh, which is like speckly with brown and gold and yellow and blue. Oh, so pretty, 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 pretty. I love it, love it, love it. So pretty. And it is um, sock fingering four ply. 85% uh, super wash extra fine merino. 50% nylon, 400 yards, 100 grams, 7.5 stitches, inches, and US 0 to 2 needles. I mean, 0 to 2 needles. Hand wash 
she mushed cold with light colors lay flat to dry which is awesome and also says in here 50, 50 cents every skin goes to a special purpose which is R-O-W-I-A, a, a nonprofit working to support and conserve um, Heaps Peak Ivoryum in the San Bernardino Mountains. So nature, which is awesome. So cool. I love companies that give back and yarn places. And oh wow, when you move the like label around, there's actually some blue and blue greens in there. Oh, I almost got this one. It was actually like snorkel or something. I don't know. It was like a blues and greens and blue green. Oh, it was so beautiful. Oh, oh, oh. It was amazing. And this is amazing. Oh, it's so squishy, squishy, squishy. I love it. But anyways, so this is my beautiful new sock yarn that I got that I can't wait to play with and make things with. This is the blue one, like I said. Gray, aqua, purpley, blue, gray black speckly thing and pink with like speckles of black oh it was so fun so fun to do just like um to buy all this yarn and talk to all the ladies they were great um before i talk about yarn crawl and other things um this i got this little bear it was i did another trade this bow wants to keep coming off. It's kind of stuck in there before. But it's super cute. Eee, so cute. Well, I did another trade with one of my Etsy friends for the fuzzy stuffed animals. And this is the little bear I got for it. And then she went and got some other things for me that I'm making for her that I've got on another on the next podcast. Um, anyways, so Yarn Crawl is coming up out here in San Diego, San Diego Yarn Crawl. I'm going to be going to my first one ever. I've been wanting to go to this for the past year since I found out about it. And it's actually September. Okay, so if you live out here and you would like to join me for Yarn Crawl, please let me know down below. I am going, the dates of Yarn Crawl are September. Thursday, September 12th through Sunday, September 15th. I plan on going Thursday, September 12th to the San Diego ones, and the, they're all in San Diego, but the ones that are titled San Diego is the name of the town that they're in. And then I plan to see the Palkas on Friday the 13th, but it's always changeable if one of you want to come with me. And it's like 9 a.m. to 6 and then 10 a.m. to like 4 on Sunday and 9 a.m. to 6 on the Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. So if anybody wants to come with me, please let me know. Comments down below. There's a link to what it is down below as well as what I explained to you. So what is Yarn Crawl? Yarn Crawl is where a bunch of local yarn shops in a couple places and some other places get together and they have a little bit special sale they have some giveaways and so forth but they get together they don't aren't exactly next door to each other pretty much drive to these different places and you can get yummy yarn for really good prices you can talk to the dyers you can also have their yarn events there'll be all kinds of things going on according to the website as well as what the yarny you lady was telling me about you can chat with other yarny friends and you can also hang out and crochet your knit a little as well as buy some yarn if you want and enter into some raffles which is really fun and they're all different areas and you can also hang out with the pelkas and see them and they're super cute there's two pelka farms that are i've been curious about one and i heard about the other one and there is a yarn truck also that's going around to the different shops and there will be different locations which i am excited i've never been to a yarn truck trunk place yarn trunk show or yarn truck show before and i've never been to one of these events so it's going to be fun to meet with other yarny people as well as talk to the dyers and um designers that make patterns and other beautiful things and as well as make the beautiful yarn for all of us and it's a great way to support the local um indie dyeing scene as well as um help support 
local yarn shops as well as um, get some very beautiful yarn at really good prices. I'm excited as well as hang out with yarny friends. It's, it's the best of the best. It's like a big giant yarn festival sort of thing but at a shop. <laughs> Instead of a festival where you're going out and at an expo or something like that, it's at individual shops. And these shops you can go to any time, you don't have to go at this. So if you don't make it to all 11 spots, including the truck, the moving yarn truck, well, the moving yarn truck is not really shop, it's titled, but it is 11 different things. But if you can't make it to all of them, because they are spread out, and out here in San Diego, it's big. So spread out means a couple hours drive sometimes. And if you don't make it to all of them, it's okay. And if you just make it to one or two, that's okay too. And if you just are the closest one to us, that's cool because these stores will still exist. But it's that same as whatever event is going on that day at their place because there's different ones. So it's, it's fun. I'm just excited to do it and get some beautiful yarn. And I can't wait to show all of you what it looks like. And if any of you want to come with me, it's great too. Um, Anyways, so that's the yarn crawl that I'm super excited about. And I hope that if any of you live out here that you would come with me. But if not, no big deal. I understand everybody's busy and everybody lives all over the world. And if and a lot of times I see people have the little hangout thing and I don't live near them either. So I understand. It's I'm not my feelings aren't hurt either or. But it would be great if we could get together and hang out, is all I'm saying. So I'm working on some toast, different kinds of toast, like peanut butter and jelly, because I saw that uh, recently on a podcast, as well as I've been eyeing the pattern for a while. And I just figured out now how to put the peanut butter and jelly on, as well as I also have um, made the regular toast before, toast and butter, and I've made so now I want to make like toast with like fluff on it, toast with strawberry on grape and toast with peanut butter. So I'm making like four different toasts right now. And, oh, five with plain toast because I don't have any of those. And then, but the plain toast might be the more smaller toast, like the one I have with butter that I've shown before. And I'll show again on another video because I have a little special event I did with one. And I'm excited to be um, showing you that. And I'm excited to be working on this. This is in the color stone. It is a Stylecraft Special DK yarn. And I am really excited to make these toasties. I already made like a couple of them pieces. They're not together yet and not near me. But they just are super cute, super adorable. I love that um, they have arms and legs, these ones, where my other ones didn't. So I just think it's super cute, adorable, make a fun adult or kid toy. Sorry, everybody around here is getting home from work right now. I usually don't do this in the evening. My hubby's on his way home too soon. I think that's what the text message was about or it was something to do with my son coming home. So i um, got to chat with you for a little bit and then um, let you all go. And I um, had so much fun making this video and the 21 non yarny things about me. If you haven't watched that, please watch it. I'm going to be having a crochet um, knit and cowl coming up that I'll be explaining in another video. I'll probably talk a little bit about it in the next podcast or as well as I'm going to have a knit crochet with me this week and then not tomorrow but the next day I plan on doing that video. I have some um, some vlogs coming up. I have a very special, special vlog that's yarny related, as well as one that has me making a yarny thing. And we went on an adventure, me and my family, and we have another adventure coming up this weekend. Excited! I have so much good things going on, and I've been enjoying keeping busy and doing things, as well as making these videos and coming back and talking with all of you, as well as connecting with all of you, again, by watching all of your videos. I love watching each and every one of your videos. I've been catching up um, slowly with all of them, and I really, really um, love chatting with all of you. I'm going to be having a Facebook group soon. That's going to be Pink Real Fiber Arts Facebook group that is going to be going on in the next few days. I'll have it set up so then that way we can um, talk
talk more about the crochet um, knit and crochet along, um, crochet and knit along that I'm going to be, there's going to be two. On one of them, there's going to be three prizes, so three winners. And the other one is going to have two. And it's going to be super fun. And as I'm going to the yarn crawl, I'm going to be picking out prizes for these, as well as I'm going to have a secret giveaway coming up soon. So if you haven't subscribed to my channel, it'd be a good time because if you are subscribed to my channel, you will get entered into this secret giveaway if you participate in that and what I, um, when I tell you more info about it. I'm not going to have it in the title because I want it to be for all of you that are, um, that enjoy watching my videos and I have enjoyed getting to know you and talking with all of you because, um, and even if you're a new subscriber, welcome, because I, you're, you'll be welcome to that. But I just didn't want it to be just for people that sometimes are out here, they hear the word, they see the word giveaway, and they automatically hit subscribe. And then as soon as they don't win that giveaway, they hit unsubscribe. I'm sorry. I'm not about the numbers with this. I'm about the friends and relationships. And I want true real people to be talking with me, not so people that just hit unsubscribe because they didn't win something or get something out of me, that just drives me nuts in life. It shouldn't be like that. When I join a channel, it's because I truly love their videos, you know? When somebody joins my channel, I hope that's the same because, you know, it's just not right to do someone's channel. Anyways, I won't go on and on about that subject because I like keeping this a nice, happy, positive place where we're not getting on that. <laughs> but anyways, I'm super, super excited to be um, be doing these crochet and along and doing some fun giveaways for all of you because oh, I love making all of you smile and happy and excited and I love just participating in crochet and alongs and I love seeing all of the things you guys make. They are so beautiful. Each and every one of you, yarn inspires me. I see what you make on Instagram. I see what you make on your podcast. Or if you just write what you make to me sometimes, that just inspires me. Thank you for all of that. Um, I'm going to let all of you go now. And that way I don't go any longer than what I have done. And also, so that way I um, can eat dinner with my family and everything. I hope you all have an awesome, wonderful, beautiful day, night, afternoon, no matter where you're from. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, please do by hitting the subscribe button. If you like this video, hit the like. And if you would like to leave me a comment, please do, because I love my comments. I mean, I love the comments that each and every one of you leave me, and I comment back. And I just love talking with all you. You're all great. Thank you. Um, thank you, everybody, that's been sticking by my channel, since um, even with my little one year break and thank you for everybody that is still, still chatting with me after all that and everything and um thank you for all the new people that have joined um i'm happy that you have and anybody that's interested in joining as well as if you would like to help support me and my family a good way to do that is to buy something at my shop there'll be stuff for all of us yarny people soon as, like I was talking about safety eyes and stuff, um, there will also be stuff for, um, that's not just safety eyes and if you're going to be making, but then there are, I'm also going to be designing some patterns soon that will be up, and also the Amy Groomies, but right now it's just Amy Groomies that I have made, if you'd like to buy one of those and help support me and my family, um, you can by um, clicking the Etsy link and buying something from my shop, and if you don't that's fine too um if you would like to uh join me on any of my social medias you can by hitting the links down below if you would like to get a hold of me the best way is down below uh, and it says that either email or social medias or through this um and if you would um like to join my blog once i have it cleaned up and looking better that's cool too um and anything else that's going on um it's all linked down below all the patterns that i went over are all linked down below except for the sharky that i made with my own thing which i will be writing out soon and all of you can make 
And um, yeah, I'll talk to you in the next video. Bye-bye.